Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today I have a little bit of a haul for you. I bought a bunch of littles at a place called Happy Trails. Uh, I've been there before, I've done a video, a little walkthrough of it and purchased a few things then. I'll put a few clips here of uh, uh, showing you the, the, the building and a little bit of the walkthrough. Um, so I had a few few minutes the other day and decided I would go over and see what was new what they had and a lot of the booths there had 50% off to 75% off they're clearing out a lot of stuff getting rid of things and bringing in new so I kind of hit a few things really well the only problem with it is that they take the tags off because they're different vendor booths in there and they have all their their numbers or initials uh, so that they can get paid and that's how that they do that um, and they take the the tags off so I can remember a few of the things because a lot of things were only a dollar some stuff was a little more expensive but I got it cheaper because it was in the 50 to 75 percent off um, but I can't remember all of them so um, yeah there all the tags are gone she cut them all off but I'll try to remember and give you like a an idea um, and I did pay up for a couple things only because I really, really loved it and I just had to have it. So let's get started. Let me show you what I got. So the first thing I came across was this bundle. Um, and this is wallpaper border. And uh, on the front of it, you can see that it's got chickens on it. There's just two different colors there. I love the colors. Very primitive country colors. So I couldn't even see what it looked like. But I'm going to cut this off and we're going to open them up. These are have been used, but there's plenty left on the rolls. So it should be fine to uh, use in crafts and stuff like that. All right, so let's go with this mustardy, yellowish colored one. Wow, isn't that pretty? Wow, that's going to do a lot of different things. So it's got like a burgundy border or a brown border, and then uh, the rooster, and then green around the outside. So that's going to do some really cool projects. Um, beautiful. Very country. Very country primitive. I really like that. I always try to pick up, um, even if they're just pieces of border uh, or wallpaper that I know that I will use. A lot of times I find them at Goodwill. They're partial partial rolls or whole rolls that people just didn't need anymore so they got rid of them but um, I always try to pick them up all right and this looks like the same thing it's just um, the burgundy around the outside instead of the mustardy color and um, black it looks like burgundy and black mustard all the primitive colors very very pretty I love this one I love this one and there's even enough I could do a room with it or a wall with it if I wanted to up around the the ceiling okay love that so those were together those were four dollars so two bucks a roll I guess they came together attached fine with me I saw that and I like scooped scooped it right up so love it the other thing that I found which was really cool is this little bird cage it's got a um, I don't know how to open it but it's got a little candle holder inside, a little glass candle holder it came with. And then it looks like a battery light. I don't know if it works, but I do have batteries I could stick in there. Oh, I can't even make it. Oh, it looks like it's brand new. So it's got the little tab on there. So maybe it'll work. We'll see. But anyway, this was only a dollar. And I thought this was really cute. Even though it's got the leaves on it, I'm going to try to heat it up and maybe pull those off. See if I can remove them. Give this a paint job. Do something a little bit different. I may put this back in. Not really sure, but I have an idea of something that I can do. Um, but I really like to take these off. If I can't, I'll just incorporate and uh, we'll have it for the fall decor. But I thought that was really cute. And it was only a dollar. It came with little battery light and holder and uh, that was pretty cool.
Okay, the other thing I got was these little um, stars. They're, I don't know what they're made out of, plastic or something like that, but um, they've got little hangers on them. They were $2, but this was in the 50% off booth, so they were uh, a buck a piece, which I thought was a really good deal. Uh, this one's like a bluish color, and this one's the burgundy red color. This one has a little bit of damage on the back side, but if you were to attach that to something, nobody's going to see that. But I'm always looking for um, things like this to add to different decor that I do up. Um, yeah, those were a dollar a piece. And so I also found this cute little grater. This was only a dollar. It was actually more than that, I believe, but uh, it was in a booth marked down. So I got it for a dollar, which was pretty cool. So there's not a lot of rust on it, but it's something that I'm going to probably make rusty and do something with. I'm not sure what yet, but I really like it. Uh, this little guy is so, so cute. This was $2, and I did pay the $2 for it. I love, I just love the, the big opening on it, and it's so cute. It's going to look cute. I think I'm going to paint it and then maybe put some greenery or something in it. And uh, I love it. I just love it. It's I just love the shape of it. It's a little, little tin, little metal tin. Um, yeah, and that was $2. So this is just a potato masher. But looking on Pinterest, some people have taken and decorated them up and then put a light in the middle, some whatever berries or something around it and made it into um, decor and so I saw this and it was only a dollar again so I was like why not it's aged a little bit this is an older piece but um, I just got it because it was a dollar and I thought I would try to decorate it up and see what I could do with it but for a dollar why not we'll try it uh, this is kind of a unique piece to me anyway I thought it was this is a wooden trivet it's got the little lattice holes in it, and I thought it would look great hung up on a wall, either like this, like the, however. Um, you could paint it up and then put one of these on it. Very cool. This was um, this was two dollars, I believe. I can't remember this one, but I think it was around two dollars. It was one or two dollars. I'm pretty sure too. But um, I really like it. It's made of wood, so I'm going to paint it up, distress it, and then put something, maybe one of those stars on it or something like that. It would be great for a little wall decor. Really cool little trivet. Now this one I got, um, this was in a booth, uh, I think in the same booth I got the grater and, and uh, the masher in, and this was only a dollar as well. They had something else on it, but they put a sticker over it. This looks like somebody had taken it and pounded, pounded with it. Um, it's got all these little dents and, and stuff like that, and that's fine. I, I call that character. Um, I may put some more in it paint it up um, or stain it. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But all these little marks and scratches and divots and all that, I'm going to just use it to my advantage. For a dollar, might as well. 
um, paint the paint the handles maybe decorate it up it's obviously not going to be used for um, a rolling pin anymore but it definitely would be really cool decor for somebody's kitchen so for a dollar we're going to do it uh, the other thing that I saw, I, got, I saw this and I really loved it. This is $2 or was $2. Uh, it's a wire. It's pretty heavy actually. and It's got the little finial on the top. It's all connected very nicely. It's so cute. And I saw it sitting, sitting and I said, oh, I would really love to have that, but it didn't have anything underneath it. So I said, I'm going to leave that where it is, but I'm going to remember where it is. And then I'm going to come back and, uh, or go look around and see what I can find that I could put under it to like a tray of some sort, a wooden something. Um, and we're going to try and do something with that. So I left it where it was. And I said, if I don't find anything, I'm not out anything. It's not a big deal, but I got looking around and just a couple booths down. I saw this cute little, it's a glass plate. It's so cute, square, and I was like, oh, I wonder if that little, that little uh, topper will fit on here and I can do something inside. So I went and got it, and I took the plate, and I put it on, and it fits. It fits nicely, guys. Look at that. And the plate was only a dollar. It's so cute. It's got, um, it's kind of got a little lip on it there, and I really like it. And I thought that was so cute, the two of those together. Um, so that's going to make a really cool decor piece and something inside. Who knows what yet? I'm not sure. But I really, I, I couldn't believe it. So for $3, I got this piece with a topper on it. And it'll be really cute in somebody's kitchen. Or you could do it in the bathroom, put some soaps or something in it. Uh, you could put jewelry in there in, and... Uh, so there's lots of ideas you could do with that, but I'll probably decorate it up in some way just because I feel like I just want to. <laughs> okay, and so I also found this. Now I did pay up for this, this and the wallpaper. I paid $4 for the wallpaper. This I paid $6 for, um, but I thought it was worth it. I really, really love it. It's a cute little birdcage got again a really awesome finial on top this I don't know is I'll paint or anything I think it's great just the way it is but I'll probably put something inside a bird's a nest a little bird something like that if I can find any boy they're very hard to find um, but I just love that and I thought it was so cute and I thought somebody would love this in their decor so um, I'll probably clean it up a little bit put a little something inside and I think it's going to be really great for somebody. Last but not least, this one I was kind of on the fence about because I'm not a huge heart fan for primitive country decor, but I really liked it. And I think that I could take some of my um, handmade uh, or hand grubbied candles and put them in here, decorate this up, maybe even paint this um, and do maybe distress back the heart or I could even take and cover the heart up and put a star on there um, the, it's endless what you could do but it hangs on the wall it's got these two little holes here and then I thought if I put those battery candles in and painted this it would be a really cool primitive country piece so I said I'm gonna do it I'm gonna I'm gonna splurge and do it it really wasn't that much money I think this was two dollars as well it's a tin tin piece and I think it's really cute and I think it's going to look really neat with those candles inside
And so that's all that I got. Uh, pretty good deals, really inexpensive, cute things that I can do and um, decorate up and put in my Etsy shop. If you're interested in anything in, uh, that I've been making, I try to put them up on Etsy. So if you're interested, you can go over there and see if it's still available. Uh, there is a link down in the description if you would like to check it out. It's Bit Berries and Burlap. So just go over and check it out and see if there's anything that you'd be interested in. So that's what I got, guys. I hope you like this haul. If you do, I have a few other hauls that I've done that I'll link right over here that you can check out. Thanks for watching. See ya. Thank you.